Hey guys, it's Robin here from the uh, Bamboo Warehouse Freedom Pedal. I'm standing here with Rob Moody. Rob Moody was one of the racers that we had at our event. Rob, thanks for coming along and being part of that race. And uh, we just wanted to highlight a bit of a safety issue that we had on that day. So we really pushed hard that every single peddler in the Bamboo Warehouse Freedom Pedal had to use the Safe Tracks app. And Rob used it for the first time and had an interesting story to tell. Rob? Yeah, basically I hit the wall in the middle of Table Bay, um, awesome race, well organized, was feeling confident, pushing for a top 10 finish, was feeling awesome by the time I got to Robben Island. As I went around the island, unfortunately things changed quickly. So what happened? You said something about you had a virus, you are feeling ill? Yeah, I mean I've hit the wall before but one talks to oneself and moves on but this was different. I could feel that my muscles were just shutting down, I literally could not put a blade in the water and pull myself along. So I managed to get around the island, about 6 k's um, from, from Table Bay getting home, um, just had to pull the plug um, and immediately knew that I wasn't coming home. So went to Safe Tracks, pushed the button, immediately got through to MRCC, um, they were phenomenal, um, had the chap on the line, he knew my name, knew my position which came up on the screen which is phenomenal um, and notified the NSRI. Um, so I knew the cavalry was coming. Oh, that's fantastic. I mean, when you're out at sea, the one thing you want to know is people are coming and things are activated. 100%. We are also running the flotilla feature on top of Safe Tracks, which gives race organizers the ability to track you guys as you go sure. around. We could watch every paddler. And what was amazing, the moment we were notified about Rob's uh, predicament, we could see the rescue happening live on the screen. Yep. So as event organizer, it was very, very cool to know that you were, you were being looked after and you're in the capable hands of, of the NSRI. Sure. So, so once you push the button, how long did you have to wait until someone arrived? Well, I was fortunate in that I pushed the button immediately. I just knew from experience that this was something extraordinary I wasn't feeling good so I went straight to the button it took about 20 minutes um, which is actually a phenomenal response time at sea um, that said when you're not feeling great 20 minutes is a long time um, things I would have done differently I'm glad I pushed the button early having a smoke flare is something that I would take on board in future um, I was a I was probably 500 meters a kilometer off the race line. Guys were going past, but they focused on the race. They weren't seeing my paddle in the air. And, and just having something that, that um, shows up in the daytime, you know, that smoke factor would have been something would I did have been fantastic. Yeah, yeah. So the safe tracks would have you know, um, guided the rescuers right to you because it sure. keeps updating. So, sure. so in that way, you've got it. But I like the idea of a smoke flare because the smoke drifting lets uh, rescuers have some kind of directional uh, marker in order to find you. Rob, we're really glad that it w ended well. As we're, am I. We're glad, <laughs> we're glad the safe tracks thing worked really well. Sure. And uh, yeah, it was a fantastic event and hopefully we'll have you next year. And I think you, you and sure. I are going paddling tomorrow, if I'm not right. So I look forward to it, eh? Fantastic. Thanks, mate. Cheers. The NSRI encourage boaters, paddlers, and sailboarders to download the uh, NSRI RSA Safe Tracks cell phone application. Safe Tracks takes the search out of search and rescue.